Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. Praise Jesus. Praise, Praise Jesus. Jesus, everyone. We give honor to Jesus on tonight. I honor my wife, Sister B. Jenkins. I give honor to, amen. I forgot to have a microphone here. Amen. So glad uh, Elder Jenkins giving us the mic, the microphone. Amen. And I don't think I have it on. Amen. But I'm just so glad to see everyone on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube. Amen. We thank all of you. Amen. We And even some on Zoom, we thank God for you. Amen. God is good and worthy to be praised tonight. Amen. I, like I said, I give honor to Jesus. I honor my wife, Sister B. Jenkins. I give honor to Elder and Evangelist Jenkins, Elder and Evangelist Skinner, to Deacon Hawkins, to Sister Chisholm, to Bethesda Sisters. Amen. So glad to see them. Nellie in the house. Amen. Glad to see our ushers. Amen. Amen. Missionaries, choir members, we're glad to see all of you. Amen. Thank God for seeing you. Sister Robin was under the weather for a couple of weeks. We're glad to see you out tonight. Amen. And we're still praying for the absent portion of the church because we do have a lot of people that are sick and afflicted. Even in the school system, record number of teachers are out still in different schools. Amen. People say COVID, it didn't go nowhere yet. God is letting us know he may not be killing. Amen, like he was, but God is still letting us know, I'm going to just leave this right here to see who will. Amen. To see what people do. Amen. And when God gets you sick, ain't nothing you can do. God has crippled the land. But I'm here to tell you, amen, it's going to get even worse. If we think this is bad, it's going to get even worse. Amen. Everything's going down but the word of God. Amen. I'm just so glad to be here tonight. I'm going to jump right in the word. I'd just like to say we're still praying also for those that are bereaved. We have some bereaved family members. We're praying, praying for the Loveland family, I think, in the loss of Darrell Loveland Sr. Amen. Son played football with my son, died, passed away. So we're praying for that family. And all of those that lost loved ones, we're praying for you, that the Lord will undertake for you. We're going to the book tonight in the book of John chapter 8, very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. And I was asking God, what would he want me to say? I had a very, very busy week this week, and the Lord laid this on my heart on Tuesday night. Amen. Laying in the bed around 2 in the morning. Amen. And then got up, and then the Lord put this on my heart. Amen. And I'm going to read some of it here. St. John chapter 8, verse 1. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning, he came again into the temple. And all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what saith thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. Listen to that. It's good, God. Don't hear everything. Uh, he put some things out of his mind. Because don't you know some people would have it in for us. But if God wouldn't have just let it slide, we'd be in trouble right now. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Mm -hmm. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted in their own conscience, went out one by one, and Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where art thou accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. I'm going to use for a subject on tonight, Lord, set us free. 
Come on, Lord, set us free. Yes. The Bible said, amen, very early. Now, I want y'all to think about this. Very early in the morning, amen, the Lord came and the scribes and the Pharisees came with him. Amen, the scribes were those that knew the law. Amen. They were the holy men of God. The Pharisees were the holy people of God. Amen. Both sections, amen, said they knew it all about Jesus. But then they go and they say they caught early in the morning. They caught a woman in the very, they said in the very act. We caught her in the very act, they said. And amen. Now it's amazing how you would think they would be about the father's business. Some of us like to do everything else but mind our business. Come on here, somebody. Some of us like to catch everybody else in a fault and a sin. Amen. But when it comes to us, we want mercy. Come on here, somebody. Come on here. I, come on here. And has anybody been there? Come on here. You, you, you look at others and you say, amen. If they could just get caught up and then envy Amen. And strife. Amen. And unforgiveness. Catch ups. Amen. And catch us off guard. See, when we're not in a top seat, amen, and people are not looking at us, we can point the finger and look down on others. Oh, but when we get up, amen, and get to the same position as somebody else and folk begin to look at us, amen, when we make a mistake, oh my goodness, we almost die when folk talk about us. Come on here, somebody. Early in the morning, the scribes and the Pharisees, you'd have thought they would, would have been out praying with Jesus in the forefront. No, they looking behind, they see a woman, they said, caught in the very act. Now, nobody know, but they said, we caught her in the act. Now, she didn't deny, and the, the thing of it was, the woman didn't even deny anything. She didn't say one word. She didn't say, I did, I didn't. Amen. She didn't argue. Amen. But they said, amen, unto the Lord that such like this should be stoned, Lord. We should stone her because it's written in the law. Now, the Bible here said, amen, that they were tempting the Lord. They want to accuse the Lord. In other words, they want to say, Moses said to kill such people like this. Now, I'm going to see what you're going to do. But what they don't understand, there's one greater than Moses that came on the scene. Amen. With grace and mercy, Jesus, they didn't know who they were talking to. Amen. They realized he did miracles. He can do anything. But they said, oh, amen, on the law, what you going to do about the law? But they ran into the lawgiver. Good God, my mess. I'm so glad. The lawgiver. Amen. The one that has the keys to hell and death and the grave. Amen. And he can do anything. Forgive all sin, he said. Amen. And aren't you glad? That's why I said, amen. Lord, set us free on tonight. He, amen. And I want y'all to look in St. John 8, 30, I think it's about, amen, verse 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. People don't like to let you be free. They want to say, now look ahead. Adultery, amen. The woman didn't commit adultery by herself. Now, come on here, somebody. Adultery take two participants, amen. A man and a woman. So then, amen. Where was the man? Now, if they say they caught her in the very act, why would they let the man go? If y'all going to do right, do the right thing, Amen. And let's see if God will do the right thing. We know God's going to do the right thing. But if you want the, amen, the spirit of the Lord, you got to do the right thing. Tonight, I was praying and asking the Lord, Lord, lead me and guide me of how to deal with your people. Amen. Because sometimes we make wrong suggestions. We make wrong moves, even as leaders. And I said, Lord, help me to take my time so I can deal with your people and give them the right answers. Give them the right choices. Say the right things. Be able to help the people of God. Amen. And don't judge them. Come on here. There's a strong word there. Judging. We good for judging others, but we cannot judge ourselves. Good God have mercy. Ain't nobody right but us. Amen. But when we sin, oh my God, do we want mercy? 
When we speak out of turn, somebody put us in turn. Oh my good, they hurt my feelings. Oh my goodness. Why did they treat me like this? Why did they do me like this? Amen. Sometime, amen, all we look for is somebody else to fall so we can blame somebody else. But what we try and do, amen, when you do that and play the blame game, don't you know what that's telling me? You're covering up your own sin. Come on here, somebody. You're covering up what you've done. The dirt, amen, that you have done. That's why tonight I was praying, Lord, purge us. Purge us with hyssop, amen. Yeah. Purge our mind, purge our hearts, purge our thoughts, amen. Yeah. Yeah. You may not have done it, but if you thought it, you just as guilty. Yeah. Yeah. God said, amen, you don't have to touch a woman, amen. But God said, if you lust after her in your heart, in your mind, I would love her to have her, amen. But just because I can't get to her, I don't want nobody to see me, amen. But those back in the early church, amen, used to set folk on the bench, amen, on the last seat, amen, and would look at them, amen, and scourge them, amen. But some of us doing the same thing, amen. But just because you didn't get caught, amen, or the Lord had mercy on you, don't you think you should have mercy on somebody else? My God, have mercy. All have sinned and come up short to the glory of God. All have done wrong. All have been caught, amen, even while you were saved. Come on here, somebody. You lied while you were saved. You slept with somebody while you were saved. Oh, come on here, somebody. We won't admit to it. You fought evil while you was yet saved. You took a drink while you were saved. Come on here. You lied while you were saved, amen. You back bit while you were saved. It's all in the sin. You hated while you were sin. You had jealousy in your heart while you were yet Amen. Save. Amen. You had all these things going on. Amen. All the fruit of what? Unrighteousness while you were yet saved. Yet we want, amen, mercy and grace, but we won't want to give nobody mercy and mercy and grace. God knows we need help. God needs to free us today. He who, Lord, help us to be free this year. Help us not to judge nobody else. Lord, I need help tonight. Lord, I ask the Lord. Lord, am I doing your will? I'm not looking at nobody else's work, nobody else's church, nobody else's pastor. Who ain't doing this? Who ain't doing that? Lord, help me to get right. Help me to do right in Shiloh for the people in this church. Lord, help me to build up this work. Amen. Not tear it down. Not tear down somebody else's ministry. Amen. Just because they may have two or three minister, amen, members, amen. That don't mean they're wrong. That may be mean that all they can handle right now. We get down on everybody and look at everything negative. Do you have any positiveness in your spirit? Come on here, somebody. They were looking, the scribes and the Pharisees were looking to catch somebody early in the morning. In other words, they wanted her dead. That's what they wanted. They said, we're going to see, will he kill her? That's what they were saying. Will God kill her? Now, let me tell you this. It was written in the law. Leviticus chapter 20 and 10, Deuteronomy 22 and 21. Amen. Such a man that was caught. Aren't you glad we're not under the law? Yeah. Good God, my master. Yeah. See, when the law was, when you sinned, amen, there was no grace. There was no unmerited favor, which is mercy. So then you died, whatever you did, amen. They cast you in front of the people and they picked up stones and hurled them at you and killed you and hurt your mania until you died. But thanks be to amen. God that giveth us the victory. Yeah. Now we have grace and mercy. Amen. And even though those wood hurl stones at us, it's the blood that comes. Good God, my God. Thank God for the blood. Anybody know about the blood? Amen. The blood, the blood that washes. Amen. The blood that cleanses. Amen. It reaches to the highest mountain. It flows, which I'm glad about, to the lowest valley. Amen. It flows in the valley of the poor. Amen. Give us a reason, amen, to forgive us of our sin. Give us of our wrongdoing. We just, God give us another chance to get it right. And that's all we got to say. Thank you, Jesus. 
Turn your Bibles, amen, to Psalms, amen, 91. 91. Psalms 91 and verse 4. No, verse 3 says, Surely he shall deliver us from the snare or the trap of the fowl and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt be afraid. Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Aren't you glad? Amen. Even when we fall, amen, God said it will not come nigh thee. And when you do fall, come on, you fail, I fail, all of us have failed one time or another, amen. You fell and didn't even realize that you fell, amen, because we were so busy going on and looking at any and everybody else. Come on, have you ever looked at everybody else and never looked at yourself? Have you ever took a look in the mirror, amen, and scared for what you see? You say to yourself, I don't even like myself. I got to do right. I got to get better than this. Amen. I'm ugly in my own self. One thing for somebody to call you ugly, but one thing to look in the mirror and say, I'm ugly. Good God, my master. And the Pharisees and the scribes didn't do that. They didn't look at themselves. Amen. When you're looking at somebody else and blaming them instead of amen, now they let the man go. Amen. So that let you know, amen, they had mercy and grace on the man. They let him go. Now they said they caught him in the act. Why didn't y'all grab both of them? Amen. And set them in the mix. Amen. And the woman could have ran, but she didn't run. She was looking to face. She said, yes, I did it. Amen. And I'm looking to face whatever it is. And he said, Moses said we should cast stones at her. But Jesus said, amen. I'm so glad God don't hear everything people want. God don't hear everything that people pray for. Don't you know somebody's praying on, on your behalf that you fall right now? Somebody's praying, amen, that you go down, amen. Somebody's praying, amen, that you fall down, amen. Somebody's praying. Jealousy and envy is just like a cancer. Eats up people, man, in their minds and in their hearts and in their soul and in their spirit. Don't like to see nobody get ahead of us. Amen. Yeah. Scribes and Pharisees don't know what kind of shape the people were in. Amen. Everybody should have lived like me, us and I. Amen. But we don't realize, amen, when we have, amen, when you fall, you got an advocate, the Bible said, amen, Jesus Christ, the Father. Amen. And I'm so glad he is the Father because God forgiveth what all sin. He don't just forgive some, he forgive it all. Amen. Aren't you glad we're living in grace and mercy time where Jesus had mercy on us even when you mess yourself up. God brings us back and straighten us back up when we repent and come back. Amen. Donnie McClurkin wrote a song and I was thinking about it most of the week. He said, we fall down. But we get back up. Amen. And saints, we do fall down. Amen. But we got to repent and then get back up. And God establishes. He establishes back. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about how it looked to people. Amen. Folk would love to see you lying in the gutter. You would think church folk wouldn't like to see you like that. But some would love to see you crying and complaining. Long as the church is going through this and going through that. And long as the church looked down. Amen. But I'm here to tell you tonight. Amen. I'm not preaching no down message on no more. Amen. Not preaching about nobody else's church and nobody else's sins and they church sins and their faults. Amen. It's time for us to look at our Ourselves, amen. And get our own life together. Come on here, somebody. I preached a couple weeks ago at a funeral, amen. It's either heaven or hell, and it's time to get ourselves together. It's time to get you together. It's time to work on yourself. You got to work on yourself. You got to pull off. You got to cut off. You got to shave off. Anybody ever took a shave? Amen. You got to shave that stuff off you. Amen. It always come back, but we got to keep it shaved off us. 
sinner come back just like an old rusty crusty beard amen growing this way and that way come on here but you got to keep the shaving amen the amen and the shaver amen which is amen the knife amen or the razor which amen let us know it's the word of god we got to have the word of God on tonight, amen, to shave ourselves and cut ourselves, cut all that sin off us, amen, cut all that Indian strife off us, backbiting hatred and envy, all of it, wickedness, we got to cut it off us yeah. and see Jesus. Amen. We thought the scribes and Pharisees would see this, and they didn't realize, y'all even forgot the man, so the Lord didn't even tell them they mistake, he just wrote on the ground like he didn't even hear him. Other words, he ate, man. He he didn't even pay no attention to him. He ignored him. And I'm so aren't you glad God ignored people for your sakes? If people had their way, we'd be dead right now. If people had their way, we wouldn't get up and be where we are right now. Come on here, somebody. God has been good to us. Amen. Have you ever had God just be so good and you think about it and you say, Lord, look where you brought us from. Amen. Standing, amen, in places we never thought we'd be in, never thought we'd see the people we'd see. God has done all these things. Good as he been to us, and God have to ignore some of the things people do and say, amen. The Bible said he wrote down on the ground. Other words, God didn't lift his head up. Other words, the scribes and the Pharisees couldn't get it, amen. What is he saying? He didn't even lift his head up. He said, if I'm bowing my head, amen, y'all should bow y'all. If I'm bowing my head, y'all should bow y'all and ask for forgiveness of yourself. Because you can't even judge right, amen. Ain't nobody right but us, amen. Ain't nobody church right but us, amen. Ain't nobody going to heaven but us, amen. It's going to be a small place, amen. God said he got the gates, amen. Got the, uh, amen. The streets are paved with gold, amen. Only for about 200 or 100 people. The devil is a liar, amen. Heaven is made for more than that, amen. And I'm looking to go there, amen. And you are looking to go there, amen. But we got to get our life together, amen. We got to straighten up here, amen. And stop judging others, amen. Judge yourself and you shall not be judged, amen. Look at yourself. You don't have to worry about going down, amen. Take advantage of your own soul, amen. Look in your own house, amen. Somebody wrote a song said, sweep around your own front door. Don't sweep around nobody else's. Don't come around my house. Amen. Sweep in. If your house dirty, even if yours not dirty, don't come around mine. Amen. God gave me the charge of my own house. God gave you the charge of your own house. Amen. Your own work. Amen. Prove your own work. Don't prove nobody else. It's time to get right. Amen. Lord, set us free. Set us free, Lord, tonight. I need help. Lord, help me not to judge. Help me not to be, amen, the one that always, amen, being the downer, downing everybody. Ain't nobody right. Ain't nobody. They don't do it like us. Amen. They not like us. Amen. Jesus told us other sheep I have that are not of this fold. And guess what he said? Them I must bring. He didn't leave that to Peter. He didn't leave that to Paul. He didn't leave that to John. He didn't leave that to none of the apostles. He said, I must bring. Why? Because they may judge wrong. I don't care how long you've been in church, sometimes you can judge wrong. I don't care how much you know, you can judge wrong. How long you've been saved, you can judge wrong. Why? Because you're human. Don't forget you're human. So when you're human, you're bound to make mistakes. Talk to one of my bosses and we had a falling out this week, but then we got back together. Amen. Wednesday morning, yesterday, and then he extended his hand and the devil said, don't you shake his hand. Amen. Don't you shake it. Amen. But when somebody apologized, you ought to be willing, whether they mean it or not. You don't know what's in their heart. Go on and shake his hand and then get this thing behind us in the name of Jesus. And I stood there and I said, I wasn't going to do it. And the Lord had me an amen. Get your hand out there and shake that man's hand in the name of Jesus. Get your Yourself together. You're not above that. Man, apologize. Amen. You accept it and keep moving. 
amen, I apologize and did it, amen, behind closed doors, amen. So sometimes even those that are, may not be saved can conduct themselves better than us. That's right. That's right. Amen. Some of that mess we have in us. But every now and then, amen, you say what you are, God say, I'm going to prove it. And guess what? The devil looking to say, I'm here to tell somebody. When the saints of God came, and the sons of God came to present themselves, amen, Satan came also, amen, walked up in the midst of them, and God asked them a question, where cometh thou, Satan? Amen, going to and fro, seeking whom I may devour. Other words, I'm on my job, God. You gave, let me out, amen. And I got on the earth, and I'm trying to disrupt, amen, and so as much dis discord as I can. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, don't you let the devil sow discord in your life. Yeah. Don't you let him sow discord in your house. And we're not going to let him sow discord in the church. That's why we got prayer going on. Yeah. We have prayer in the morning. We have prayer every Sunday morning. Then we have prayer on noonday on Tuesday. Then we have prayer on Thursday night. Amen. And then we pray again on Sunday morning again. Then we pray before the service starts. Then we pray during the altar call. Then we pray after the service. Men are always praying, not faith. That's the Bible. So you got to pray your way through. Because these things sneak up on us unaware. When you amen, when you're sleeping, amen, the devil will sneak up on you unaware. Have you mad for no reason? Tell somebody off and you say to yourself, this is not me. That's when it's time to fast and pray. But when you don't have no prayer life and no fasting life, you can't see. You're blind. You'll be just like the scribes and the Pharisees. You'll bring the woman by herself. Now, adultery can't be done by just one person. So you got to understand. We caught her in the very act. Now, can you imagine? And they talking to the Lord in the very act of adultery, Lord. Now, what are you going to do? And the Lord said, amen. They're talking to the doctor of the law, the one that invented the law of grace and mercy. That's the law we need tonight. Lord, give me grace and mercy, Lord, to forgive me of my own sin and my own unrighteousness. But you know when you run a red light, amen, and you know it was red and you keep going, even though you went through the intersection and didn't get in no accident, it was the grace of God. You're still wrong, but grace bypassed you. You're still wrong. You didn't do right. God bypassed you. Amen. When you lie, amen, to the bill collector, amen. Even though you got over, you didn't get by because God let you know you got over, amen. But you're not right. Come on here, somebody. In all things, we got to be just in righteousness. We got to live righteously, amen. I read to you whom the Son set free is free indeed. When God set you free, See, and then that's what I like, the ending part. God asked and said, woman, where are thou accusers? One by one. It was more than the scribes. Because I said it because it was more than just the scribes and Pharisees. See, they made a scene. They wanted it to be known, amen, that this woman should die today, this morning. Amen. But God said, amen. He that is without sin, anybody that's perfect, you pick up a rock, amen, or a boulder and throw at her first, amen. If you're so great, amen, amen, and some of us feel like we've been to heaven and back, come on here, amen, we know all about it, amen. We done been up there, amen, on the pearly gates, amen, swinging, amen, on the golden highway, come on here, somebody, and you would think we know all about it, but I'm here to tell you we ain't been nowhere, some of us ain't even been out of this town. Come on here. Sometimes we got to look back at our own self and say to ourselves, Lord, it's me standing in need of prayer. Lord, change my mind. Change my heart. Change my ways. And they set up there. Amen. Like they've been to heaven and back. Amen. We caught a Lord. We did it. Yes, we did. We caught a Lord. And the Lord, amen, didn't pay him no attention. And then when they all start walking out, amen, you know, folk love to get a crowd together, yeah. get in front of people and get to acting like a fool in front of a crowd of people. Come on here. 
amen, and want to tell somebody, amen, and want somebody to hear them so they can get, amen, they little piece off. But I'm here to tell you, after you have gotten your little piece off, have you considered, did you do the right thing? Yes, my Lord. Did you offend or did you win your brother? Yes. Come on here. So then. All of them left. God told them, say, you that don't have no sin, amen, you pick up a stone first now. Don't worry about the others. All of y'all that don't have no sin, the Lord knew what to tell them. Yes. And everybody thought about it. They said, oh, man. And I guess some of them said, man, I did the same thing. I just didn't get caught. Come on, how many times have you done something that you have accused somebody else of? Come on here, somebody in here. I've done something that somebody have done themselves. And I tried to accuse them, and he had come back. Every time you point one, you got one finger pointing at somebody else, they wrong. You got your thumb pointing up to heaven, and then you got your other three fingers pointing back at you, telling you, you wrong is all outdoors. That's right, that's right. And we don't look at that. We say, but I look at it like this, Lord, help me. Don't, put up, don't point no fingers, just Lord, help me. Help me, Lord, help me, Lord. And mean it from the depths of your heart. Repent. Yes. Amen. We got to show some mercy and grace. Yes. And the woman is standing there trembling. The Bible said, amen. God asked her a question. She said, woman, where are your accusers? Yes. She said, I have none, Lord. Hey, isn't it good to have no accusers? Yes. Amen. God, amen. You might have some accusers, but God made it right. Amen. Yes. How many of y'all know he's a bridge over troubled water? Yes. Amen. He's our shield and buckler. Yes. Amen. The fowler, I just read that to you here. Amen. He, amen, he shall cover thee. Surely he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler. Other words, the fowler got a trap set. Amen. To trap you, entrap you in sin. But I thank God, even if we, amen, get in a trap, God got a way of getting us out. How many of you know he got a way of getting you out? Yes. And aren't you glad about it? Yes. And if God wouldn't have got us out of sin, we'd still be in a trap right now. Yes. Sin trap. All messed up. How many of you know some of y'all would have been dead from drinking? Some of you would have been dead from drugs and overdoses. Some of us would have been dead even, amen, of this and that, amen. Some of us would have been dead of gunshot fire. But thanks be to God that giveth us the victory, amen. Grace and mercy oversaw us and overshadowed us, amen, and blessed us. He is our shield, just like an eagle, amen, cover the young eagles. His wings are so strong, amen, that even the weather can't penetrate it. No matter how bad the wind blows and the rainstorm come and the cold, amen, the eagle, amen, puts the eagle under his wing, amen, and he's dry. Amen. And he can take it. Amen. And I'm here to tell us God can take it. Amen. Nothing God can't bring you through. He's acquainted with all our ways, he said. But I thank God. He gave the woman another chance. And he said, Amen. Where thou accusers? She said, I have none, Lord. He said, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. Just go on. In other words, you're free now. I paid the ransom. You're free now. I told them you can go. You're free now. Aren't you glad God paid the ransom? I'm sitting here preaching and teaching to you, amen, but God paid my ransom. If God had it, amen, I was a sinner, amen, and if justice would have plumbed the line, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. But thanks be to God that giveth us the victory. God looked beyond my faults and saw my needs. And I'm so glad God looks beyond our faults and see our needs. He can always look at our faults and say what we don't do. Have you ever seen somebody, all they can do is point out your faults, amen, and your wrongdoings and what you don't do right. After a while, you say to yourself, I'm going another way. I don't want to hear nothing they got to say. Come on here, somebody. But sometimes you got to line yourself up to hear something positive, amen. Like Jesus said, amen, where thou accusers, I don't have none. I don't accuse you either. Good God have mercy. That's where the blood come in. That's where, amen, the true and the living God, amen, purpose driven that forgives sin. That's Jesus. That ain't nobody but Jesus. And we'd be dead right now if it wasn't for the Lord. 
If it weren't for the Lord, we'd be consumed. Yeah. It is because of the Lord's goodness yeah. and his grace that we are not consumed. Yes. This I recall, therefore, I have hope. It is because of God's mercy we are not consumed. Yeah. Yeah. God could have cut you off last year. He could have cut you off when everybody else died. Amen. Of AIDS. He could have cut us off when everybody died of COVID. He could have cut us off this year. RSV at its highest, taking people out. Flu at its highest, taking people out. And COVID still here at its highest, taking folk out. And you and me still here. Don't you tell me grace and mercy don't roam this earth. Oh, we thank God. That's what God did for the woman here. Grace and mercy brought her over. He told her, go free. Lord, set us free this year. Set my mind free. Set my heart free. Set my family free. Set us all free. Help me to look at something positive. Amen. And not the negative. May God bless you and may heaven smile upon you tonight. I hope this lesson helps somebody tonight. That we don't have to look at somebody else. Oh, amen. But you can help somebody up. When you help somebody up, amen, you're helping yourself to a blessing. Come on here, somebody. Much as God has blessed me, amen, this week I made sure I went out, amen, and just gave to the homeless, the poor, amen. Didn't give out blankets, amen. Didn't give out food, amen. But such as I have, I gave out, amen. So somebody else can have something better. Because if not, there goes I. And there goes you. And there goes all of us. But thanks be to God that giveth us the victory. And when I gave the money, I looked at the folk hand. Hands were just nothing but pitch black dirt. And I say, Lord, here goes I. Amen. If we hadn't been for the Lord, amen, we wouldn't even have a mind to even wash our bodies. Come on, here. Brush your teeth. Come on here. Take a shower at night. Come on here, somebody. Have a mind to work. Come on here, somebody. These are small things, but they mean so much when you don't have them. A right mind. Thank God. God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you. All of you on Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. Amen. YouTube. Thank God for you tuning in tonight. And I pray that God bless you. Amen. I forgot to tell everybody, pull your phones out and share with somebody else. If you enjoyed this message, pull it out. Pull your phones out and share it with one of your co-workers, your friends, your cousins. Amen. Those that are in another state, pull your phones out and share with them that they may see this. Amen. And it may encourage them also. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Elder Jenkins. Amen.